Hopefully you'll never need this information, but it could save your life if you do. So a while back, I posted about the government spending a bunch on anti-radiation pills and a bunch of politicians investing in nuclear-related health stuff. And a lot of people were really, really frightened. When I was like seven or eight, I was like petrified of nuclear explosions. And to try to get over it, I actually learned a lot of survival tips for if there is a nuclear blast. So when people imagine getting nuked, they always think about the blast, but that's actually not the most dangerous part of the explosion. If you're within about a mile, there's not really much you can do. But if you're farther away, what you really have to worry about is the shock wave. The shock wave is a pressure wave that travels through air, and you only have about eight to 10 seconds from when you see the bright light of the explosion to when it would hit you. So if you ever see a really bright light, what you wanna do is lay on the ground and cover your eyes with your finger and put your thumb in your ear hole. You wanna lay face down and breathe through your teeth. If there's something nearby, you wanna get under or beside something sturdy like a table. This can protect you from falling debris. After the shockwave passes, you really have to act fast because the most dangerous part of the blast is the nuclear fallout. Depending on where you are, you really have about 10 minutes to get as deep underground as possible. So ideally a nuclear fallout shelter, but if you have like a basement nearby, that would work as well. And you wanna stay underground for 48 hours. A lot of people try to outrun the fallout and you just can't. So you wanna get as many layers of thick material like concrete, soil, or brick between you and the sky as possible. Once you get in that shelter, you wanna to try to brush all your clothing off as quickly as possible and rinse off your hair as well and then quickly change clothes so if there is fallout on you you don't get poisoned by it if you have something like a radio that can give you details as well to what's happening after 48 hours have passed the radiation levels drop to like 100th of what they are at the explosion and then it's safe to try to get out and find safety obviously i hope no one ever needs this information but definitely good to know